Hey guys, how's it going? It's a little bit late, but welcome to episode 7 of our Space Shooter tutorial. Today, um, we're going to work on adding HP to our enemies, as well as adding a score counter. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go into our actors, and um, let's go into level 2, actually. And we can drag level 2 up here, um, right before this initial scene, uh, which we can name level 1 just so we don't get confused. There's level one and level two. I'm gonna put level two here first so that we can test it first whenever we hit play. It'll load that one first. So uh, what we want to do is, um, well first let's, let's add some HP to our enemies. Let's do that first. So here's our enemy. And uh, what we can actually do, and this is a really powerful feature in Game Salad, is we can add an attribute. So if we go into our actor uh, for our enemy, we see that here's his, um, the, the enemy image here. We can actually click on this plus sign here and choose integer, because that's a number, an integer is a number. And we can type in score, or actually not score, sorry, I'm thinking of something totally different. Uh, we can add HP. So now we have an HP tag, and we can change that value to something like three. All right, so now we have uh, an enemy with three HP. What does that mean though, and how do we adjust that? Uh, so what we can do is we already have our laser over here and um, that laser is shot whenever we uh, hit the space bar, right? So what we can do on our enemy, uh, since we can already shoot at it, is we need to make a collide event. So let's go ahead and add a rule. And we're going to say when a collision occurs with the actor of type uh, laser, and what do we want to do? Do we want to destroy it in this case? Not really. We actually want to just subtract from its HP. So we're going to change attribute. And we're going to use the attribute browser to go over to our enemy and choose our HP. And what we want to change that to is in our expression editor. We're going to go to attributes, enemy, HP minus one. Now we could just write minus one in here, but then every time a uh, laser hits that enemy, the HP is automatically going to jump to negative one. We actually want it to get its current HP, whatever that happens to be, and then subtract one from that. So that's why we type it like this. So self.hp minus one, and then you hit this checkbox right here to um, enable that. So now, whenever our laser hits our enemy, uh, it'll subtract one HP until well, it can go into negative numbers, really. So we have to do something that's going to actually count that, right? And get rid of the enemy when it reaches zero. So what I can do is I'll create another rule, and I'll say when an attribute, and I can use our browser, our attribute browser, to find our HP. I can see when HP is equal to zero, or... Um, less than or equal to zero, then what do we want to do? Destroy. Check for HP. And in this rule, let's just label this applied with laser. All right, so let's see if that worked. So we can move left and right, we can shoot. Uh, let's find an enemy. Here's one. One, two. Oh, so I shot it twice. Cool. So I believe one, two, three. So three hits does get rid of those um, enemies. However, the lasers don't disappear, right? So let's go into our laser actor. And um, we'll remember from our meteor level when we collide with the meteor, it destroys a laser. So that's all we have to do for this one too, is create a new rule. And it says when it collides with the enemy, destroy the laser. So now let's try that. So it hit, it hit, 
and they hit and then disappears. This is a lot more realistic and that's the reason why two hits were kind of working to kill other enemies because the laser wasn't disappearing. So it was actually going through that enemy and hitting the ones behind it as well. But as you can see, this is a much more realistic enemy system, right? Because it takes three hits to kill. You can change this to five, you can change the HP to anything you want, and you can even make different lasers do different amounts of damage. Now, uh, let's go a little further than that and add a score system to it, right? I'm not sure how long I've been recording here, about five minutes, so we have time. Uh, let's add a score. So, uh, first thing we'll do is add a new actor, and let's call this score placer. Okay, and um, let's go ahead and find our camera. So here's, if we click on this camera scene right here, we'll see where our camera view is. And go ahead and go back. So this is this little white box is our camera. So I'm gonna place our text um, box for the score right here, almost all the way to the edges and towards the top of our screen. Perfect. And then what I want to do um, further than that is actually make this uh, invisible. So we're gonna click on our actor. And we're going to go to color. If And you're not going to click on the color box. You're actually going to click on this arrow next to color and change the alpha to zero. And that's going to make, as you can see, that actor become invisible. You can still click on it and manipulate it, but it's invisible to the player. And that's important because we don't want to see that box. We just want that box to be where our text shows up. Um, but we don't have any text to show yet. So uh, let's create that. Uh, in our game, Let's go ahead and create a new attribute because we can do this for our game, our scene, or our actor. So um, actually, let's make it for the scene then, just for level two. Let's go ahead and add an attribute and let's make that an integer. And let's call that integer score. And we'll start that at zero. And then for the score placer, I'm gonna use a display text and I'm gonna click this expression editor. And we're gonna use a mix of text and a function, so or an attribute, I should say. So we're gonna have to use a little bit of, of kind of pseudocode, but it, it's fine. So in quotes, we're gonna type in score, and I'll use a little colon here and a space, and then an end quote. And then we wanna add an attribute. So we'll click on attributes. We'll go to our, actually, we're gonna have to add it to our, our scene uh, because we can't access our, scene attributes here so let's backpedal just a little bit um, I'm going to delete this one from our scene so click on score and hit the minus sign right here my mistake let's put that in game let's go ahead and add the plus sign integer double click on that and type in score and now we have a score equal to zero so now in our display text we'll hit the expression editor and we're going to erase hello world and type in quotes score colon, space, and then quotes. And then our attributes, we're gonna go to game and look for score. Now you might think this would work just fine. However, in game solid, there is a, a delimiter between these two that we have to use. So if you um, click at the end and then use your arrow key to go right before it, um, we're gonna type in two periods, two dots, right in between the uh, end quote and our attribute. If we wanted to add more text after that, we would do the same thing, but backwards. Add two dots, a quote, and then add our text, and then a quote. So that the two dots are basically how you separate text and attributes. If you don't put that, it'll give you an error. But this should work. So score, game score. Check. Now when we hit play, our score shows up right here, which is great. However, when we move around the scene, our score moves around the scene too, just like it was an actor, which isn't what we wanted to do, right? So let's go back to the editor, and we're gonna work with layers this time. Um, we're gonna click on layers right here, and we're gonna add a new layer and call this um, user interface, and we're gonna make this not scrollable. That means it can't move, and I'll put it on top. And I'm just gonna drag that score placer into that layer. So now when we hit play, that score moves with our screen and it'll always move with it. Um, it looks like I'm almost at about 10 minutes here. 
So uh, let's just go ahead and work that uh, underscores uh, look for a little bit. So we'll change this to uh, left align and we'll change the color to white. I think that might show up better. And uh, let's try that. Let's hit play. That looks pretty good. That looks great. So in the next episode, I'll show you guys how to actually uh, add to our score and um, make a way to progress to the next level based on our score. Uh, so that's about it for this one. Uh, thank you so much for watching and sorry for the delay again. I hope to have more videos to you very soon. Have a great day. Peace.